Take that, Justin Bibb. <laughs> when you a victim, the vacant unit becomes a target for the high level of crime in the neighborhood, right? So what you want to do, the smart money, y'all, is to put Section 8 tenants in there and eliminate most of those problems, right? Well, you said there's a front uh, porch, too. And it's, like, enclosed? Uh, I, I'm assuming. I can't remember. We were literally just out there looking at it. That's what I need an office set up for sure. Yeah. Toilet. Just stay there for four or five seconds. Really, really hammer home the point that it has a toilet. Okay. Now I'm curious. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. Y'all, if you're trying to do Section 8 investing, you want to check out Cleveland, Ohio. Man, people are coming from all over uh, to do Section 8 investing in Cleveland, Ohio. Now, here is a particular property that is going to illustrate why people are doing it, okay? 4914 Ham Ave, Cleveland. Now, this is in one of the sketchier neighborhoods of Cleveland. I will make sure I let you all know that right up front. This is a difficult neighborhood. You're going to deal with a tough tenant base. When you're dealing with a tough tenant base, y'all, what you want to do to try to mitigate your risk is go with a Section 8 property, right? You want to get a Section 8 approved, get some Section 8 tenants in there. The reason you do this is because when you're in a high-risk area, you already got a lot of risk factors going against you. And the biggest one is having undesirable tenants who do not have consistent income and they're liable to skip out on some rent payments. When they skip out on their rent payments, you got to evict them. When you evict them, the vacant unit becomes a target for the high level of crime in the neighborhood, right? So what you want to do, the smart money, y'all, is to put Section 8 tenants in there and eliminate most of those problems, right? Because the government pays all the rent. You don't have to discount the rent. As a matter of fact, you're going to get a very large amount of rent. Given the fact that this property is only 64.9, the fact that you could rent each of these units to Section 8 tenants for 875, man, that's quite a bit of rent when you're looking at the actual price, right? So you're getting a ton of rent. It's consistent. You shouldn't have to evict them because the rent's coming in, and you're not going to have a lot of vacancies because you got people living there. Because again, the rent's coming in, right? So that's what you want to do. With this one in particular, we got that upstairs unit, right? Uh, that that's actually the owner occupant, so he'll be moving out. Okay, so that's you know probably pretty simple, uh, you know, fairly cosmetic turn, right? You're probably going to spend anywhere between like maybe like seven to fifteen twenty k to totally renovate that unit. Then the other unit, uh, he's kind of chopped away at it. It looks like he got the idea that he was going to do a big old reno, and then it just never happened, right? So you're probably going to need to spend a little bit more. You're probably looking at about 30K, 20, 30K on that particular unit. Then, of course, because it's going to be a rental property at that point, you got to get it lead certified. He doesn't have it lead certified because he never had a tenant, right? He's been rocking and rolling since the lead laws changed uh, himself, the only person living there, right? The other unit's been vacant, right? Uh, however, I don't think getting it lead certified is going to be very difficult uh, or costly because it's already vinyl sided right so you're going to be able to get this thing all put together well under 100k and then you're going to be bringing in almost two thousand dollars a month and the smart money is on section eight because again it is a challenging neighborhood right so it's very hard to hit consistent returns in a property like this if you do not get that government subsidized rent right if all that makes sense to you and you want to make a cash offer send it to my team sales at holtonwise.com now there's nothing wrong with people financing real estate but with this particular asset y'all as you see one of the units is not livable so you're going to have to burr this one out. You're going to have to do a refi later, right? So you got to make a cash offer, buy a cash now. After you renovate it, you can go ahead and do a refinance. If you don't have lenders for that and you need lenders for that, just shoot me an email, sales at Holton Wise. I'll give you my lenders, okay? I've been doing this a very, very long time. I've sold over $200 million worth of these kind of assets, y'all. I got investor lenders who will work with folks just like you. Don't matter where you live. You could be out of Ohio, out of Cleveland. And hell, you could be out of America. I got lenders that will do stuff with Canadian foreign nationals. We got investors all the way out there in the UK, Singapore, you name it. I got investor lenders who want to write loans to people like you. Last but not least, if prior 
to put in that cash offer you on a tour of the property, put together your scope of work. It's totally cool, too. Just let us know. Sales at HoltonWeiss.com. If you reach out to us before 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we will get you in same business day. If it's after 5 o'clock, y'all know that's Miller time. Also, you should know that this video is not sponsored by Miller, but it would be cool if it was Miller. Miller Coors, hit your boy up. I swear it ain't going to be like a Dylan situation, y'all. I ain't going to do that. I'm not going to wear a dress, and I don't think your stock's going to go down if you sponsor my video. Let's talk, y'all. Let's talk. But seriously, though, y'all, uh, if you hit us up after 5, we'll probably get you in there the, the next business day. But before 5, we'll get you in there same day. Let's go. Cool with that? door in there right to the start of That's the attic? Yeah, that goes up to the attic. Only he has access to it as well. Cool. Oh, step down, Jesus yeah. Christ. <sighs> Fooled me too. Fuck. Oops. <clears throat> Should be fine. A little overhead. Tub. Toilet. Just stay there for four or five seconds. Really, really hammer home the point that it has a toilet. <laughs> you know, it's John's favorite. Oh, yeah, every ad has to have three toilets. <laughs> You gotta get the toilet from four or five different angles. <laughs> yeah, please. This wasn't nearly as big as I thought it was. Well, you said there's a front uh, porch, too. And it's like enclosed? Uh, I, I'm assuming. I can't remember. I, we were literally just out there looking at it. I think it's probably just a. Side porch, yeah. I mean, it fits a queen size bed. Nice, nice. This is a red over here. This right here is an office setup. For sure. And then we'll hit the attic on the way. Well, actually, we'll probably go back outside the window where we So, actually, we'll probably we can maybe hit the garage and we'll find the box boxes over there. I don't want to get too far out here. This thing's leaning like a. It's leaning like it owes me money. <laughs> Ever tell you about the time Vince locked me out on a porch? Like we went out to do, we were doing the lead bid. What's that side street off of Montclair we used to manage? Uh, 32nd? Yeah, the great lady like with the crazy eyes. We yeah. were in her unit. <laughs> and uh, the doorknob fell off when we were on the porch and it locked behind us. <laughs> yeah, that's... It was... What the hell? What should we do about that? Look at these steps. Let me do it. I got it. It's not the best thing to do after you're going to Right? <laughs> I'll probably just poke it up and turn Yeah, I'm just going to get up a couple so that you can... They can see. I wouldn't recommend coming up here. You want to grab that for me? Yeah. These are like, these are the steepest stuff I've ever been on. Yeah, they're pretty steep, dude. It's 90 degrees. Yeah, <laughs> like, talk about stepping up. To the streets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I think he's working with the garage right now. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you got it open. Okay. So let's, 
I guess if you want to do the garage real quick, I'll tell him that we're done up here. Yeah. And I'll work on getting the lower one. Cool. That works. I do need the code. Uh, is this the basement? Oh. Uh, is it? It's certainly... Looks like it goes to a basement. Oh, yeah, then we might as well hit it. Why are these old panels right there? Why are these old houses? You know the uh, East 43rd? The uh, duplexes we had? Yeah. The electric panels were the same exact way. They all look like you're about to travel straight into hell when you go down these steps. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like. It looks like you're. It looks like the attic steps where you're like, oh, I'm going 90 degrees down, boys. Oh, not creepy at all. Pleasantly surprising. So I love when we go in these old basements and they're actually like super nice. So, but this would be a common area for sure. Yeah. Man, look at these gas meters, dude. They're snug. <laughs> yeah, furnaces are over here. Peace. They really forced them in there. As long as they don't leak. Couple fernies. Look at that. Well maintained basement. Don't could use a filter change, but other than that. Wow. It's older, never mind. Now what on earth is this? <laughs> that D air purifier type thing? Uh some pump. That's pretty sweet though. Yeah, because look there's like the original basement walls back behind the sucker. Yeah. It looks like kind of the same thing over here. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Nice. This might be one of the best basements we've seen in a while. Honestly, yeah. As far as unfinished. I mean, you gotta change that out, but... Well... just brick behind there. Probably just wall in there. Take that, Justin Bibb. <laughs> I don't know if CMHA's doing all that lead stuff. Just check on that one, too. Should we go out this door? Uh... I don't know, I think he's out by the side door. Now that one door does go to the back. I mean, this is open here. Yeah, if that's the back. Oh, yeah, it's open. Nice guy. You know, everybody knows the biggest selling feature of every rental property is the garage. Countless times tenants ask me about the garage. Oh, it's got a timer. That's cool. Cool, cool. Okay. Now I'm curious. Oh, okay, it doesn't keep going. It's just a little utility room. I'm not going in there. Spiders.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.